Now, after a career spanning five decades in which he's covered 29 FA Cup finals, 10 World Cups and thousands of matches, the BBC football commentator, the incomparable John Motson, has decided it's time to set down that microphone. At the age of 72, he'll retire. At the end of this season, he says he doesn't want to wait until he's going downhill. He's been speaking to our sports editor, Dan Rowan. For half a century, he's been a true footballing fixture. Here's Gascoigne. Oh, brilliant! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! His commentary is as much a part of the game as the many moments he so uniquely described. But finally, John Motson has decided to hang up his mic and he told me why this season will be his last at the BBC. I think there's always a time to go. A lot of water's gone under the bridge in all the years I've been doing Match of the Day. Uh, the challenge I still love, uh, but it has got more difficult. I just think it might be the moment to say thank you very much and uh, leave it to somebody else. Motson's big breakthrough came in 1972 at Hereford versus Newcastle when he conveyed the emotion of one of the FA Cup's greatest shocks. Radford, the scorer. When I see Ronnie Radford, I always say, you know, you changed, my, you changed my life, Ronnie. And when I see it again, as I have hundreds of times, I still think to myself, please go in, don't hit the post. Because if that hadn't nestled in the Newcastle net, no, I wouldn't be here now. And there it is, the crazy gang have beaten the culture club. And as well as countless iconic commentaries, of course, there's also been plenty of humour along the way. But I think Trevor Brooking's next... Well, he is next to me. And I think... <laughs> and then there's the most famous sheepskin coat in sport. I didn't set out to make that a trademark, honestly, but it hasn't done me any harm. Motson's biggest regret, never commentating on English success at a major tournament. And England are out of the World Cup on penalty kicks. What was the biggest problem that prevented England from ever going and being successful? I think it was the fact there wasn't a midwinter break. We subject our players to a 10-month slog. And when it gets to the World Cup finals or the European Championship finals, I think they've played, they're played out. Monson's preparing for this weekend's match with the same attention to detail he's applied throughout his career. And it's that, along with an undimmed passion for the game, that's helped him become one of the most renowned commentators in British broadcasting. It was like being paid for your hobby, that's what people always say to me, but there is a little bit of hard work involved, you know, the, <laughs> the, the preparation and the homework and watching players and going to see games so that you could do the one you were doing next a bit better. Um, it was a challenge, but it was a challenge that I always enjoyed.